For years, residents of Hamanskral, the epicenter of the cholera outbreak in Gauteng, have been complaining about the quality of their water supply. It's now at a point where sewage is seeping from their taps. And the Water and Sanitation Minister says this is a nationwide challenge. While officials are searching for a solution, residents have been left wondering why government finds it difficult to identify the source of the outbreak. When will they have safe, clean drinking water? Let's discuss this further. We're now joined by water research resources scientist, um, Karen Bosman. Thank you so much for your time. We do uh, appreciate it. Uh, I think this is a big concern given that this cholera outbreak started a few weeks ago and government has still not been able to identify the source, yet you have uh, residents in Hamanskral, and I think even our reporters have opened up a tap where you can actually see sewage coming out of the tap instead of clean drinking water. Um, why are we not able to actually identify this, this uh, cholera outbreak? Um, good evening. Well, I think if you're not asking the right questions, you're not going to get the right. And I think uh, part of the reason why um, we have not yet able to identify the cause definitively is because the tests that are being done are being analyzed for the wrong variables. And then firstly, and secondly, the samples that are being analyzed um, will not reflect what happened when the disease had um, had, had started. So it doesn't help you take samples now and analyze it now. The disease has a one to five day incubation period. You should have, you should have taken um, a done analysis. Every day samples are taken at, at the sewage works and at the water treatment plant. So those samples are there and you should go and do back analysis on samples taken two, three weeks ago for the presence of the cholera bacteria. And um, because it kind of makes no sense to expect that you take a sample today and, and, and you will find a cause of something that has. People have died. Um, the the Hamanskral water crisis has been a very long one, many saying it's possibly two decades now. So why is government testing the wrong variables? Well, you know, in a crisis that, that you're experiencing now, when there is a cholera outbreak, there's panic. And um, it was quite disconcerting to me to see about a week ago that the um, city of Tswani issued a press release saying, we have analyzed for E. coli and fecal coli, didn't find it, and therefore there is no cholera. Because that is not a cause and effect relationship. That's akin to saying, um, we have global warming because the temperature started rising as pirates started disappearing. Therefore, it's pirates who's responsible for global warming. It makes totally no scientific sense to analyze for E. coli and fecal coli and use those results as basis to say it is not in the water. So I think it could be a number of factors. Um, we know in, in the field that we're working that politicians are often not well versed in the basic sciences that is needed to understand what do you need to test for and, and what is the mechanisms that are at play. And um, then it is not every day that we get a cholera outbreak. Um, we get one every five, ten years in certain areas, although cholera is endemic in South Africa. So it might be that those people who are responsible for taking the samples um, simply don't understand the science or the mechanism and, and, and are under such pressure that they don't have time to properly research what they should be sampling and what they should be analyzing. That's very worrying. Um, it's, that's very, very worrying. Um, I want to ask you, Karin, if you think that this cholera outbreak does come from the water in Hamanskral. In all likelihood, yes. Um, uh, you know, the... the the situation that you have is that the water distributed to the people of Hamanskral and adjacent is treated by the Temba Water Purification Works, and the Temba Water Purification Works abstract its water from the Alpes River. And 10 kilometers upstream from that is the Royval uh, uh, sewage treatment plant, and a third of 30 kilometers upstream from that is the Dustwood sewage treatment plant, both of which. Um, have not been properly 
um, operated, functioning for a number of years. And so um, it is, if, if, if I, for example, would con contract cholera for going to somebody's funeral and I come back to my house in Pretoria and I go to my bathroom, flush the toilet, um, I might, a carrier of cholera might never get sick. I might not even know that I have it. And now my sewage go to the dashboard sewage works where it's not properly chlorinated at the end, where there's not proper treatment happening, and that effluent is discharged into the Alpes River. The virus, the bacteria, vibro uh, uh, um, cholerae, will continue to survive the three kilometers to the Temba uh, water abstraction point, where it will be abstracted, and it will not be properly treated, and then end up in people's drinking water supply. And there is no way that you will be able to identify that I was the cause, because as a, a only less than 10% of people who carry cholera, it's endemic to our country, will ever present symptoms. And this is how then a, um, an epidemic outbreak starts to happen. So I think it's in all likelihood that it is as a result of lack of proper treatment at either or both Weibull and Dustwood, and then um, extreme pressures on Temba that, that we've seen this. And the only way to say that it's not Temba, Weibull or Dustwood is to test the effluent from the two sewage works over the last month for the virus and to test the water produced by Temba over the last month for the virus. Unless we've done that, we cannot eliminate the water treatment and sewage works as possible causes. Mm, and, and this begs the question as to why government is failing to test the right variables. Um, you know, if you're telling me that it's in all likelihood, you've just explained the various plants, uh, why would government fail to test the right variables? Why would they wait so long? And I ask this in the context also of, for example, the NICD, uh, just as this cholera outbreak started, um, where we saw all these deaths indicating that the health facility responded way too late. And it was obviously, evidently clear that this is cholera and people are dying because of cholera. Um, why do you think government is delaying in uh, testing the right thing or failing? I don't want to say they're failing, but I mean, if you're telling me that certain things need to be tested and they're not being tested, why aren't they being tested? Well, I think that is a question for yeah. the responsible people in government. I guess I cannot speak on their behalf, um, but I was the author of a guideline on how to deal with cholera outbreaks when I was working for the department in 2002, and the document is still on their records. It's a 40-page guideline on exactly what to do when faced with a cholera outbreak, but it doesn't seem that the institutional memory exists to find guidance from existing information that are at their disposal. Mm. Uh, no, definitely. I mean, I think it's only fair that we do pose this question to government. But it's interesting, though, that you, as a resources scientist, are telling me that the, the right variables aren't being tested for and so many people have died and people still can't drink water out of their taps in Haman Skral. It's been a long-standing issue. Just lastly, um, Karen, I want to ask you, uh, what is the way forward? Because uh, you know, government is saying we're still testing, we're not exactly sure of the source. The city of Tawana coming out and saying, actually, it's not the water that's causing the cholera, but we don't know what the, what the issue is and what's the cause. Um, how do we move forward from this? And how do those in Haman Skral actually say, OK, we can drink the water? When can they drink the water? Well, firstly, it's not just not the right variables to pick up on your last point. It's not just not the right variables. It is the right samples. Um, that it doesn't help that take a sample now and test it for the right variable. It won't tell us. So they must back go back on previous samples taken and test those for the right variable. And then in terms of how do we take this forward, um, you know what I would like to see, but I haven't heard or seen yet. Maybe it's there. Is um, the first thing that you do in response to a cholera epidemic outbreak is establish rehydration centers. Uh, distribute something like um, a, 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 a rehydration solution to the communities, not just water, and also distribute the disinfectant, um, uh, uh, like JIC or Domestos or one of those disinfectants to the community. But I don't see the distribution 
of either rehydra rehydration salts or uh, disinfectant to the communities. And that I would see as an emergency and, and immediate intervention. And then the second intervention that, that I would like to see maybe more in the short term is the establishment of, of um, transportable or movable water treatment plants. You can get these, uh, what we refer to as package plants or movable treatment plants. We can distribute them in a, and you can set them up within two weeks at most. And they are manufactured in South Africa, they're available. Um, and I, I would like to see the emergency installation of uh, water treatment plants, package plants, which can then be deployed later in areas where there is a lack of water purification. And then thirdly, maybe more in the medium term, is to um, change the abstraction point from water, from water for the Kemba treatment plant to with a pipeline to upstream from the Royval water treatment works, because we hear it's going to take many years and many millions of rand to fix Royval. So in the interim, change the intake of the water treatment works to upstream of Royval so that we can fix Royval without killing people in Hamanskra. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a very worrying picture. But thank you so much for your insights and just uh, clarifying certain issues there. That was water resources scientist Karen Bosman just speaking to us about uh, the cholera outbreak, especially in Hamanskral.